Jim, let's talk about responsibilities. What do you mean? I, I just unloaded the dishwasher. No, not your responsibilities. Mm. Assigning chores to children as young as three years old. Oh, that makes sense. I think we started when Willem and Gretchen were toddlers. We did, and now we're finally seeing the fruits of their labors now that Willem is off to college and forced to face the realities mm. of caring for himself. You know, we know from over 50 years of implementing this at school that children who have a set of consistent responsibilities in place have so higher self-esteem, they're more responsible, they're better able to deal with frustration and delayed gratification, all of which contribute to greater success in school, not to mention life. Also, doing chores gives the child the opportunity to give back to their parents for all that we do for them. Kids begin to see themselves as important contributors to the family. I think the hard part for parents, though, is holding them accountable for their chores. But this is where leadership parenting comes in. Mm -hmm. By holding the child accountable for the assigned household tasks, it will allow the child to feel more capable for having met their obligations and completing their tasks. It's really worth the short-term battles. Yeah, and by not teaching them the skills of everyday living, we limit a child's ability to function at age-appropriate levels. Mm -hmm. Teachers can spot a child who has no responsibility at home a mile away. By expecting children to complete self-care tasks and to help with household chores, parents equip children with the skills to function independently in the outside mm -hmm. world. Do you remember how we got started with this when the kids were little, Jim? I, I do. We came up with a list of daily tasks that needed to be completed here at home. That's right. And we started small when, they're re when they were really young. And some were personal responsibilities, like making their bed every day or putting away toys. But others were for the better of the family. Sure, like setting the table for all of us and vacuuming the common areas. We also learned quickly, though, that these tasks come with imperfection and we needed to be okay with this. So true, hard lesson to learn. <laughs> but once this structure is implemented in your home, your children will learn to enjoy the work, I promise. And the commitment to consistently completing household tasks and navigating responsibility together will foster a connectedness for your whole family. <laughs>